The ADAY adapter is a new device from Gigahertz Solutions that allows you to simultaneously log RF measurement data to an NFA 1000 from an HF59B and HFW59D RF meter. This allows you to capture data from the combined frequency range of both meters covering a full 27 MHz to 10 GHz with no measurement frequency gaps. Shown here is the Y adapter patch cables, and high-pass filter with the basic instruction sheets. It is important to note that this kit and setup is designed to connect the HF59B using the omnidirectional UBB27 antenna and the HFW59D using the omnidirectional UBB2410 antenna to allow full frequency range. Now with these omnidirectional antennas, the HF59B will measure up to 3.3 GHz and the HFW59D will measure down to 2.4 GHz, thus creating an overlap in frequency coverage. To solve this problem and allow a flat, uniform frequency response for this combined setup, you will need to use the new HP33 G10 high-pass filter connected to the HFW59D. This means that the HF59B will measure from 27 MHz to 3.3 GHz, and the HFW59D will measure from 3.3 GHz to 10 GHz. This filter is carefully designed to create a perfect frequency response overlap in the 3.3 GHz range. Let's begin the setup process. First, we'll connect the data logging cables. The HF59B DC output is connected to the ADAY adapter on either connector on the input side of the adapter. Then, the HFW59D DC output is connected to the other input as shown here. Then, the output of the ADAY adapter is connected to the NFA1000's DC input jack. The meters should be placed approximately 20 centimeters or 8 inches apart from each other and try to keep the data logging cable connections as short as possible. We suggest using data logging cables that include the ferrite cores as shown. Next, set both the HF59B and HFW59D DC output range to 1 volt as shown. Next, we need to decide on the desired power measurement range. In other words, what is the expected maximum measured values? This chart shows the different possible ranges, preamps needed, and the required meter switch positions. Check your settings and connections carefully. For this demonstration, we'll configure the setup for the 2000 microwatt per square meter range. This means that the HF59B will need the HV10 preamplifier installed, with the range switch set to maximum, and the external adapter switch set to plus 10 dB as shown. The HFW59D will just need the HP33 G10 high pass filter installed, the range switch set to minimum, and the external adapter switch set to 0 dB. The HF59B can be set to full or pulsed measurement mode. And remember, the HFW59D can only measure pulsed signals as there normally is no CW or continuous wave signals above 3.3 GHz. Finally, we'll connect the antennas and external devices for this range. The HF59B will need the HV10 preamplifier installed and then connected to the UBB27 as shown here.
As mentioned earlier, the HFW59D will need the HP33 G10 high-pass filter installed before connecting the UBB2410 antenna, as shown here. Just like all the other filters, preamplifiers, and attenuators made by Gigahertz Solutions, look for the green lights to indicate a good connection, as shown. Now we're ready to start logging as usual. While logging, we'll generate some RF by enabling Wi-Fi on a nearby smartphone. To view the logged data, we'll be using NFA Soft, but you will need to be running the latest version available from safelivingtechnologies.com in order to use this adapter, you will need NFA Soft version 173 or higher. This new version of NFA Soft has additional options to plot data from this combination of the HF59B and HFW59D combined meters. Here, we'll open NFA Soft and our log file as usual. But now we'll notice the new options in channel 4 to select the HF unit and we'll now choose HF59B plus HFW59D. Then we'll select our setup range of 2000 microwatts per square meter and then the DC output voltage of 1 volt. We can now close the channel 4 tab and look at the combined plot from the two meters in this measurement setup. For more detailed information about this new ADAY adapter kit, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at safelivingtechnologies.com. Thank you.